from Washington is political analyst Steve Shigeris. Uh, Steve, first, we saw Trump voting there in person, clearly making a point about voting in person and not doing it by mail. Do you think it's working? <laughs> I mean, uh, look, there are 57 million people who have already voted by mail or in early in-person voting. Uh, the pandemic, you know, has changed. The rules have changed across the country in terms of voting by mail. You're seeing a lot of people take advantage of that. As much as Donald Trump has tried to sort of uh, talk about how uh, unsafe or potentially uh, fraudulent mail-in voting can be, uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be uh, really working in terms of people who want to get uh, and exercise their vote early. In term, Trump, you know, tried again to make a point today, saying it's very safe to go in person. Of course, it's safe to go in person, but it's also pretty safe uh, to vote by mail. There are no, uh, there, there's no, historically, no real uh, fraudulent activity around, or at least massive fraudulent activity, as the president has suggested, around mail-in voting. We've seen a, a surge in early voting, long lines in several states. Uh, do you read anything into that? Do people show up in mass to vote for an incumbent, usually, or for change? Yeah, it's hard to say. So what we do know in terms of early voting, first of all, is, as I mentioned, the rules have changed in a lot of states about how to vote early, whether it's by mail or early voting, mainly because of the pandemic. They want people to get out. They don't want people to gather on Election Day and wait in long lines on Election Day. And what we've seen is an enthusiasm uh, across the country uh, among American voters to some of them standing in line for hours to get in their, their vote er early or a lot of people uh, mailing in their votes early. Uh, what it means, it's hard to tell. Uh, in certain states, we can tell uh, which party has requested uh, more uh, ma uh, mail-in ballots or is showing up earlier. And we've seen that there are more Democrats uh, voting early. But we see that traditionally every year in terms of early voting. Democrats tend to be more enthusiastic uh, about voting early. They take advantage of it. And then on Election Day is when Republicans really turn out. So, you know, we can see right now there is enthusiasm among Democrats. But what we don't know is how much enthusiasm there is among Trump supporters and uh, among Republicans. We'll get a better sense of that probably on Election Day. We have the final debate on Thursday, and usually when a president is running for a second term, he does so. He runs on his record. Was Trump doing that from what you saw? Uh, Trump was uh, doing a couple of things. One, I, you know, I think he was trying to uh, set himself apart from Joe Biden. He made a couple of points that, you know, if, if he focused on these, these points, might be helping him a little bit more in the polls. One, he was uh, separating himself from Biden, saying, look, I'm an outsider. I'm a businessman. I'm not a Washington politician. This guy's been in Washington for 47 years, and I haven't. It's a, it's a pretty attractive statement. He doesn't say it enough, hasn't said it enough, and I think uh, it hasn't resonated. Uh, the other thing he was trying to do is try to turn Joe Biden into a corrupt figure like he did with Hillary Clinton in 2016. That, on the other hand, is not, not something that seems to be resonating. As we see in polls, uh, the most important issues for people right now aren't corruption or uh, uh, Washington, uh, but uh, coronavirus and the handling of the coronavirus, the economy and jobs, uh, and health care. And on those issues, Donald Trump doesn't have a lot to talk about because he's not doing very well in the polls in most of those issues. And so you haven't heard him talk about his record as much. He tries to focus on the future, and he tries to focus on these other things.